Hi there, my name is Adele and I'm from Naked Divorce. And in this video, I want to explore some of the mindsets that you need to have to start over following a divorce. So first things first is the mindset that orientates yourself away from failure. You know, failure isn't getting down, it's actually when you're staying down. And there's nothing wrong with going through something tumultuous or traumatic and feeling like you've been squashed, right? That feeling of being a victim or being squashed is quite normal and it's a normal part of the progression. The starting point is victim, then you move into kind of survivor pattern, then you'll move into learning. And when you learn some critical things that you need to learn about why the relationship broke down and what are the parts that you play and what the sources are of your divorce, you'll start to move into the next stage, which is healing. And from healing, you can then become victorious and reshape your identity moving forward following a divorce. So failure isn't getting down and being in that initial space. It's when you stay there and you kind of start to get into what I would call learning blocks. And you're like, nope, not adjusting, not accepting this and not forgiving myself. All right. Those are the three blocks to learning. And when we block ourselves from being in learning, we will oscillate between that victim survivor stage sometimes for years at a time. So you need to develop compassion for yourself and to kind of get, look, you don't have a time machine. Whatever mistakes that were made are in the past. All we can do is learn from them and to move forward and make some better changes moving in our next relationship or in our future. So by moving into that place of self-compassion, you give yourself the opportunity to get into a learning mindset. The next thing is you've got to get over your learning resistance or your denial and face facts and face reality. If you're just closing your ears and closing your eyes and going this isn't happening and I can get this back and you're not facing reality in front of you and you're not starting to take the steps to adjust and adjusting is a really critical part of getting to healing and to claiming victory following your trauma so the final thing that blocks learning is that learning defiance so that's when we know what's happened but we're just unwilling to adjust to what's happened. And when we are unwilling to adjust, you're also not going to get to that final victorious state. So this mindset has to be towards healing is a learning journey. If I failed, failure isn't getting down, it is, it is staying down. So as long as I keep moving forward, I'm going to be in a good position. The next mindset that you need to develop is to get out of this bitterness and this kind of real nastiness and, and upset over whatever the circumstances were following your divorce. It doesn't matter how your relationship ended. That should not dictate how you respond to it. You know, we can't always control what happens. And sometimes some divorces end in horrific ways. People cheat and lie and do all sorts of terrible things. You can't control sometimes that stuff happening. But what you can control is your response to it. And getting into a, a bitter and twisted and resentful space that's of your choosing and you can choose to respond in a different way. The next thing is to kind of just refuse to forgive and move on. Now, forgiveness is an important concept because for many people, when they think they're forgiving, they're being weak and they're giving in, but you're not. You're actually just releasing yourself from that suffering cycle. You don't need to condone somebody's behavior to release yourself from that car crash that you were part of and to just go you know what i'm stepping out of this vehicle and i'm now a witness watching this car drive past when you step out of the car like that and you are able to be a witness and you're just able to go not my monkey not my circus what they do is their choice like you know and i just i get who they are i get what happened here i don't condone it but i'm moving on and i'm disconnecting from this person and they need to crack on and live their lives that's a healthier mindset than I will not forgive them. I will hold on to this forever and I will have resentment and bitterness and twistedness because it's literally going to show on your face. The next mindset is to kind of find your purpose. You know, divorce can sometimes be one of the biggest catalysts for transformation. A lot of our clients find that in the two to three years following naked divorce, they have some of their most creative and epic periods of their life producing some really amazing work. So, it's an opportunity, you know, like when you have a crisis or a trauma that hits you, you can either see it as a crisis and you can lean towards entropy and fall apart, or you can see it as an opportunity for your best transformation. So connecting with your purpose in life, reconnecting with the person 
that you were before you were married and some of the dreams and aspirations that you have, that can really lead to like some awesome things in your next part of your life. So having those mindsets are really gonna help you start over, okay? And if you want some help starting over and you know you need some support in kind of navigating those healing journeys, accepting what happened, learning how to adjust to what's happened, contact us at Naked Divorce and that's what we do. We have clarity calls that you can take with members of our team. We can talk you through all the different program options. So good luck and see you next time.